Hello, my name is Carl. I'm 2 Echo 0 Echo Zulu Tango. So I'm just preparing to go out tomorrow and work some portable VHF. I'm looking forward to it. I just wanted to um, just wanted to take a few moments to talk about um, the possible threat that we are facing as amateur radio operators on the VHF two meter band. Um, this is something that um, a number of um, amateur radio operators have been aware of for quite a while and uh, slowly catching on that uh, that the 2 meter 144 to 145 megahertz is uh, under threat from um, uh, at the moment we are the primary users of that um, frequency allocation <clears throat> but there are some challenges in place from uh, commercial bodies that want to uh, <clears throat> basically um, take those frequencies away from us or make it much more difficult to use them. And I think it's it's really important that <clears throat> uh, all amateur radio operators um, become aware of this and do whatever they can to um, <clears throat> you know to put pressure through their uh, amateur radio bodies to um, you know to try and fight off this this challenge that we have. Um, you, know, you can do that in the UK we have the RSGB, in the, the US we have the ARRL. Um, you can do a Google search and find out about the the 144 megahertz uh, or the 2 meter VHF um, challenge, the threat. Um, th there's quite a few websites now that, that go into detail about what that looks like and, and how that is uh, currently playing out. But uh, there's something that we all can do that is much more uh, practical, which is actually getting out there onto a VHF, actually putting a call out on the uh, two meter band. So, <clears throat> so I think um, the, 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 so that there's plenty that we can do as operators, um, and one of them is actually operating on that band now the the two meter the two meter band it has such an important role to play not only in the amateur radio but also in the amateur satellite community as well and um, so the two meter band is really important from just day-to-day -day amateur radio communication and um, it has usefulness for education for science and also for emergency situations as well so the the actual whole band uh, has and still has a very strong role to play in the 21st century but it takes it's going to take the the joined forces of all the amateur radio operators in the UK and across Europe and, and also um, in the US to actually really emphasize and really push that we, uh, we we keep this band now I'm not an expert on the legal side of things here but um, I do know that the more interest that we take as operators and the more pressure that we push upwards through our affiliated bodies then there, there's more chance that people will start to uh, will start to advocate our requirements. So this is just a, uh, a YouTube plea. I'm hoping that other YouTubers who we all tend to watch each other's videos if we can all dedicate a few moments of our channel to uh, pushing this agenda and raising this issue and hopefully uh, we can make a small difference between us as well. So I'm hoping after I've posted this video that I, I hope to see other uh, YouTubers in the amateur radio world do the same, whether it's part of their day to day um, channel or a specific video as well so just a just a quick video um just to raise that awareness but um thank you for for watching and i look forward to the next video so bye bye for now